Gotta shoot the snakes away. Well, that kind of snug up on me. Well, I just walked through all this grass. In the winter time, it's not so bad. This is all dead grass and it's flat and you can walk without seeing what's in front of you. But because in one of my previous videos, you saw what came up and surprised me. Right when the grass started growing, a nice, beautiful mole snake. Though it's not poisonous or anything. Still kind of creepy. And I don't know if there'd be any like copperheads in this grass. I'd expect them to be in leaves somewhere or in the woods. But um, still, just the idea. It's kind of scary. Kind of creepy. And that experience didn't help any. It's hot too. It's like 90 degrees, 95 degrees. I guess we're gonna work our way back through these weeds. I got my nice little stick here to fend off any vicious serpents. I'll tell you what would be cool if I seen like a green gar garter snake, one of those real skinny, small green snakes. I'd pick him up. I'd hold him for the camera and show him off. I'm now a big ass black rat snake. Yeah. He better just keep on going his way because I'm going to beat him with the stick if he stops. And I would expect to see one of those in here. These, those rat snakes are probably all up in here. But I hadn't seen those little green garter snakes in forever. This is what we used to call them, garter snakes. They're like really shiny green. Real small. Real, they're no more than like two and a half, three feet long. They're very docile. You can pick them up and they'll wrap around your arm and stuff. Really cool snakes. Last summer, I was in and out of these this tall grass over and over and over again without a stick without a worry without ever even seeing a snake and i'll probably never see another one again but that one experience where i did see one kind of ruined it for me it's amazing how much this stuff has grown in the last month or so right now it's about it's getting up to my knees high on average and then we have um, stuff like these briars those briars right there they're all over this place that's a briar um, are those, no, yeah, those are briars right there. There's a big briar stalk. All those thick stalks you see. See that group over there? They're already like four foot tall, five foot tall. Those get humongous. Those things get like six, seven foot in the air. And they're the ones that always end up grabbing me when I fly by and they rip me down and I have to walk up here and fetch my quad. Those suckers are vicious. And I see a lot of new briar stalks this year. These are, these right here. They're left over from last year, and they get like inch and a half, two inch thorns on them. These right here though, all these reddish colored looking ones, that's fresh crop. Looks like we're going to have a lot more this year than we did last year. That's one from last year. It got cut down. It's like four feet over my head. Seriously, these things are huge. Huge. That's like a 10 foot briar. Alright, I'm out of most of it. But the funny part is the place where I saw that other snake is over here. In the short grass. And it flew up under that car. Alright, we're going to get it back in the air. Let's see what happens. Hopefully nothing. <laughs> 